Um, if the two countries carry on in the current course, war is inevitable. The US actually taking quite a different, unique approach to intelligence sharing of late. Uh, since uh, the, the build up to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we've started to see a much more active posture in terms of the United States trying to come out and get ahead. Um, and the idea is that sharing this intelligence or speaking more openly about the threats that we perceive um, will act as a credible deterrence towards China. So it understands that it is being watched and scrutinized and that as a result we are putting things in place so that's how i would read uh this warning certainly we know that um the us as as, as well as uh britain and, and countries like australia has been doing a lot of war gaming um over the past six to nine months trying to anticipate not just future scenarios in in russia and and with iran um but in with taiwan and in the south and east china sea um and i think you know there's some pretty uh, terrifying conclusions from a lot of that. And I think in some ways, uh, when you really look at the scale of the potential risk and challenge there, which is in some ways a kind of mutually assured economic uh, destruction, uh, I think there is a feeling that what we need to be doing is really scaring people a little bit to understand that we need to be moving to things like a kind of wartime economy and taking some really, really big decisions. So that's how I would read uh, this sort of warning shot. Uh, it's it's as much a message to our ally, uh, to the United States allies it is, as it is towards China itself. Well, I'm reminded of uh, Winston Churchill's words, which was, we need jaw, jaw, not war, war. And I was in America last week and took part in a two hour discussion where people involved in some of this um, war planning uh, were speaking privately. And I have to say, I came away deeply concerned. Mm. Uh, Henry Kissinger, I haven't spoken to him directly, but he is said to have said, how's that for a journalist? <laughs> yeah, 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 that'll do. <laughs> but it, it was pretty, uh, a, a mate of Henry Kissinger <laughs> yeah. said, um, if the two countries carry on in the current course, war is inevitable. Mm. and." What is striking is how you have military commanders, ex-military commanders, talking up the idea that China's ready to take Taiwan. Many people disagree with that, that this would require an amphibious landing. It may be a blockade as opposed to an invasion. But the most important thing of all, and the message that I have is, where is the diplomacy? Mm. No, they are not talking to each other. We know that the, balloon, the hot air balloon incident prevented Blinken from going to meet his Chinese counterpart. The key thing is, one, the Chinese don't trust the Americans anymore, and the Americans, the Democrats, have given up because they don't think there's any politics ahead of the election. It's mm. very concerning. Are the diplomats incapable, unwilling? What word is it that No, they them? need political instruction. Mm. This has to come from the president. Uh, and the and the president Xi in in uh, in Beijing and remember the the significance here is Macron's trip he goes gets flattered and suddenly he's producing peace initiatives. Mm.